Hello everybody, it is Toby here, back for another episode of SMPDX3 Amplified Edition, and this is the second time I am recording this episode. I recorded half the episode, and then looked at the footage and realised my microphone wasn't turned on, so we didn't have any audio to the footage. Which doesn't really matter, because all we really did was that down there. We did a big old cactus farm, because in today's episode we are going to be building a cactus uh, shop with like free cactus and stuff, so if you look down there we've got many many, oh god I almost fell in, we've got a lot of cactus, and that took a while to build, and it's actually, we've literally had this fully running for, I don't know, as long as I've been building it, so if we just drop down the bottom, down here, you can see this is the water stream, we just pop underneath, we're going to get a proper way down here in a bit. We're all get it, already getting quite a fair bit of cactus here. Uh, I'm actually going to take some of that because I need some cactus green dye, but as you can see it's just ticking in and we're definitely going to have to upgrade the storage, but what we're going to be doing is making a system where uh, cactus from here goes up an item elevator into a single chest in the back of my shop, but I want to make it so we don't lose any cactus. So that will entail making an item elevator that switches off when the chest at the top is full. And I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to be doing that. So I'm going to have to get some help from some redstone -y people, like Nerd or something. So basically, yeah, I've got a building design in mind for the shop. I'm actually going to put a glass cap on this and sort out all of this stuff. But I'm basically going to get some redstoning done to where the cactus is going to basically pop up. And, yeah, the area for the shop, by the way, is just going to be up here. It's not even going to be a shop. It's going to be a place to get free cacti. And this house is just going to be in this area here, this nice flat area that I found. Near to my area and just sort of quite nice and tucked into the valley here. So, basically, from there, we're going to have an item elevator probably come up out the back here. Have a bulk storage area in there where loads of cacti will come. And then there'll be a single chest in the shop which the cacti actually get delivers to. So... Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to get some redstoning done, sort a couple things out, and I will catch you back when we have a bit of progress made on uh, on the bulk storage, the item elevator, all of that jazz. So I'll see you guys back in a second. Okay, so long story short, we have a cactus farm with a fully functional item elevator up to a single chest where we're going to be building a building. We also got Topsus Dog Dog. Uh, I went to World Spawn to go get some sand from the desert to make some glass for the item elevator. And I came back and I found a dog on my way back, so I picked him up and tamed him. So we've got a Topster's dog dog now, hopefully he survives longer than Topster's squawk, squawk the second and third did. Anyway, let's pop over here, as you can see, we have got here a, a chest, this is where, oh my goodness, this is where all the cactus is coming up. And wow, is this farm efficient, Jesus. Okay, right. We're probably going to have a storage problem, but back there we got a load of chests and stuff to pick up excess. So hopefully people come over here and empty this out quite frequently. I will be taking quite a bit of it, but we've got a cactus farm here producing tons and tons of stuff. But at the moment, we have got a building to build. I don't actually have any resources on me to build the building, but this is one of those buildings which I have designed in a creative world. And it took me a long time to design. It's one of a building. It's actually a building I am extremely, extremely proud of. And I'm going to do the majority of building of it off camera just because it's actually quite complicated to build. So I need to concentrate on it. But what I can do for you guys is give you progress updates. So once we get a framework down and once we start getting some details in. But basically we need a... Oh goodness, we've not got enough wood. Right, I'm going to have to get some resources farmed up and start working on this build and we're actually going to get a great view of it from down here it's just going to sit right there and we're going to build a path going to this bridge oh this thing see this dam here this is a small dam that i built as a request from loon and nerd who have been building this lake here and i just built this dam for them on a creative world and they copied it over so that was all good that was just another thing and that actually looks really really good in my opinion Got some lovely big waterfalls coming down into the lake and yeah spawn town is looking great for two weeks, two or three weeks into the server. So, yeah, um, I'm basically, what I'm going to do now is get started on the build, and I will get back with you once the build is underway and we have some progress done. 
Okay, so we have a frame. We have a frame of the building uh, done and dusted. We got my bed over there because it was becoming nighttime. I farmed up a bit of wood, and as you can see, it is a awesomely quite weirdly shaped house-ish. I don't know, but it's got yeah, it's got these F shapes, which I don't know. Fluff made me do them. Well, he didn't make me do them. I took inspiration off a build Fluff was doing, where he had these F shapes, F shaped supports and built off them, so I was like, I'll take inspiration from that, and as you can see, this is where the chest is going to be, except I've done that wrong, so we're going to have to move that chest one block forward, I realise now, which isn't it, I can do that right now, actually, that's not a huge issue, cactus everywhere, of course, let's put that there, and get our hoppers, we got them there, and we can move that, perfect, that, that'll do, so we'll stick all of that in there, and re we've got so much cactus. It's unreal how quick this farm is working. We're going to need more than what we have in storage. I'll have to upgrade that at some point. But anyway, next thing to do is to get the basic walls in and sorted and get the roof on as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the basic walls and the roof on and then we can move on to detailing the actual structure and finishing up the interior. And then we could worry about connecting it over there. I think we'll probably just do sort of like a straight path of cobblestone that we will sort out once uh, me and Nerd come over and build this bridge because I've been talking to Nerd about possibly collaborating or working on this project together where we just build a bridge straight over. But as for now, I'm going to get on with building this house, get the basic walls and roof in, and then we can worry about detailing it after the next clip. So I'll be back with you once the walls and roof are sorted. Okay, so it's it's been a while. It's been uh, about two or three weeks since I've started this episode here when I was building the cactus farm. And that is purely because is uh, when I started this, uh, the week after that, I actually uh, had a lot going on. I actually ended up um, about just over a week ago. I ended up actually meeting up with Fluff in real life. That was really actually good fun. We went down um, to take some photos and things. Well, he came to take photos of a cathedral and various other really nice buildings uh, in a town called Salisbury. So that was really, really, really lovely to do. And we went down there and it actually ended up going really well. We uh, hung out for a good couple hours. We took some good photos for the for a building inspiration and such and it went really well so yeah that's one of the reasons I've been busy and then I actually ended up going away to Herm an island next to Guernsey and it was actually really lovely and warm there I got sunburn it was but it was it was genuinely lovely so a lot's actually happened uh, whilst I've been away uh, first and foremost I actually ended up doing all the detailing uh, for the build it's just needing the roof now so yeah and since I've been away two weeks, look at this. We are backed up. All the way back. Like, all the way back and filled a double chest and another half a double chest. Like, seriously? It took, like, two weeks of this cactus farm being set up. And we've already backed it up completely. So, basically, if you're an SMPDX or watching, come and take cacti. Otherwise, it will back up. And it will back up completely and probably cause some lag. Because this cacti farm is going very well. But anyway. We have got all of the uh, detailing done. And yeah, I just wanted to address the... Basically, sorry for not uploading for a couple weeks. I've been busy. I've been away. And it'll probably be the same over the next couple weeks as well. Because I'm actually going away again pretty soon. So yeah, I'm going to try and get as much done as possible. But anyway, this has gone well. We have just the roof to do now. I've got to actually farm up a load of dark oak wood to do that. But as for everything else, this detailing and everything is actually done on this build. Everything is done except the roof. So when the roof is done, I'll get back with you. And then we'll probably end up working on a path that just leads sort of around here and up. Uh, it'll probably go somewhat around here and up and join on to this path about here, I'd say. So, uh, when we've done that, uh, when we've done the roof, we'll get back and come and do the path. But yeah, things have happened. Quirky's area is coming along up there nicely. I think next episode, maybe a touring episode where I just have a look around the server at what's been going on. I mean, uh, Loon's just done one of those episodes this morning. Uh, he uploaded it, I'm pretty sure. Or last night. He uploaded it recently anyway. 
so I'd go check that out. But I'm probably going to be doing one of them myself because I haven't actually had a look at a lot of the builds that have been coming along. Except that dam there, there's a big lake over there and I helped construct this dam. So basically we'll come and have a look at them in the next episode. But as for this episode, we've got to finish up by completing the roof on this uh, cacti farm shop here. Build a path going along here and then officially open the cacti farm for public use. So let's not fall in the quarry and let's get things going with that. Okay, so we are pretty much all done on the cactus farm shop. This episode is going to be a shorter one, I'm afraid, because there's not much else to do, really. I've got plans for, for future episodes, none of which are worth starting right now. But we have attached uh, the cactus farm to the path with this little cobble path. This is, of course, temporary. All of these cobble ones are. These will all be updated in due course and due time. And this just goes down. We've actually stuck a roof on it now. And that looks rather nice it just completes the build and we have got a sign that says cacti farm and we just pop in here and take as much as you can carry because this thing is filling filling up as you can see because as you can see people have been taking it uh i'm pretty sure uh sin has taken some chili has taken some speaking of sin here she is but i've taken like a double uh half a double chest as well so Hopefully this keeps up with demand, I'm sure it will, because it's completely black, uh, backed up. And I just sort of terraformed over the hoppers a little bit to hide them. But anyway, yeah, this cacti farm is absolutely ridiculous. It's absolutely crazy how much cacti this produces, I mean. Oh dear. Oh, oh rip. Um, it's ridiculous. I mean, if we go F1, that'll be quite a good thumbnail shot, I think. Anyway... There is a couple times cacti will get stuck like that, but we pr honestly produce so much cacti, it really doesn't even matter. But yeah, I'm actually really happy with how this has turned out. I've never really built um, a proper big cacti farm before. I've always done a really small one that produces not very much cacti, but this one is quite big. It's my largest cacti farm I've done. It produces a hell of a lot of cacti. And uh, I've made... A pretty nice cacti farm shop to go with it so this cacti farm is officially open for business open for all of the SMPDXs to come and take as much cacti as they want so uh, if you want a relatively good way to find it it's literally just at the bottom where my quarry is it just comes off here and basically all you need to do is just come and fill as much of your inventory as you can with cacti because this thing produces a hell of a lot of the stuff. So, yeah, that is where the cacti farm is. I highly recommend all of the SMPDXs who watch this to come by and pick some up. But if you're a non SMPDXer, I want to know did you enjoy this video? Comment down below if you like the build, if you like the cacti farm. I'm really, really sorry it's a shorter episode um, and that it took such a long time to actually get finished uh, because life got very busy all of a sudden. But I should be able to make more videos as soon as possible. So if we just get up here to get a nice view of the valley of the SMPDX3 amplified server in the next episode, I think we are going to do a bit of a tour because I saw Loon's and I was just like, yeah, I want to do that. I want to do the tour. So I apologize to Loon if he thinks I'm copying him or whatnot, but I'm sure I'll understand that I just literally took inspiration and wanted to do my own style tour. So I hope that you guys... Enjoyed this episode. Again, sorry that it was a shorter episode, but that's that's all I've genuinely got time for and all I'm going to be doing this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of SMPDX3 Amplified Edition. I've been Toby, and I will see you in the next episode. So, oh, frame rate. There we go. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.